Oh. Yeah. Today's the day. We're putting that motor in the Jeep. It's probably going to drop more than what we turn it. Never mind. I finagled it a little bit. Sound. That was really easy. Seeing how hard it was to get it off the first time. Due to having some excess gasket maker on the down here on the gasket make on restart there's too much gunk on the oil pan that we have to take off so we need to get some extra supplies so this will be a couple days worth of project for this video so if it we change outfits in the middle of it you know why we're gonna go ahead and slap the oil pan back on without a gasket for now and just go ahead and toss it in the jeep so we can measure the spots for the motor mounts and drill the holes that way we today we can at least get the motor in and then get the stuff we need <laughs> and <laughs> chef um words shout out to broadview automotive in bealton virginia for welding these in for us these are the custom mounts for the 350 conversion and the saddle mount that's on the motor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw it in and see how it fits without the headers on. Trip. All right, holes are in. Oh. Good, definitely gonna need some washers, but yeah. But we have washers that are on the back of this thing. Um, holes are drilled. We're gonna go ahead and throw this back on the stand today, and uh, come back and do the pan gasket, throw the transmission on, throw everything all down in there at once. So because, that's just all that we're doing. Because we're idiots and didn't get any RTV, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. That's okay. We'll fix that. Yep. So the next day, uh, we got the bolts drilled with, oh, it's over there. I don't feel like going and getting it, but there's this, we used a spider bit and honestly, I reached out to spider because of it. I actually hit them up on Instagram and Asked them if they wanted to do sponsorships because I was so impressed with their drill bit. Unfortunately, they're not looking for sponsorships right now. So I just felt like it did such a good job. I had to at least say something about it. So they're expensive awesome. for sure, but man, that thing cut no problem. So good job, Spider.
Now we have to, we uh, pulled the engine back out. We got to put the oil pan gasket on that I've been saying that we're going to do for freaking so long. And then we're going to attach the trans to it before we put it in and then just send them both in there. And we're going to strap up the transmission and have it all ready to go get the mount custom fabricated for it so that then we can start hooking stuff up and make it start and do not wheelies yet. We got the oil pan gasket in and the torque wrench wasn't working so we just had to guess right around 16 foot pounds of torque to each bolt and I, based on how it looks looks fine doesn't look like it's going to leak oil if it does i don't mind putting a little bit of oil in it every time we drive it it's not a daily driving car but gabe's putting the whatever sensor that is back in the oil pan since we tack welded the sump tube in there it didn't fit over the sensor so now we're going to flip this back over put the trans on it and lower it into the jeep oh there's the mount yeah i think this too Transmission is bolted up. Let's put the motor in the Jeep. It is quite interesting how high this thing is right now. Yeah. I really like it. Still ain't cambered though. Nope. It ain't going to either. No, the old other motor. The other motor had more weight to it than this. This is literally gonna go right to where we want it. Bing. Ta-da. Ta-da. Are we gonna what did you say? My... pulled a rabbit out of a hat? Pulled a rabbit out of the hat. No, we put a 350 in a Jeep, Gabe. What the f are you talking about? That's not a rabbit. Okay, so anyway. Bolt it in. Bolt it in and strapped up waiting to go to the shop for the new trans mount gabe i think we did good it looks good <sighs> cool Well, it's in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's going to be a lot more to come. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you comment on the video. We love seeing your guys' feedback. We read all of them. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. So.